Hello. This is going to be about the IFI Zencan uh, balanced headphone amp. Um, I, I had mentioned in a previous video that I've some vendors have taken notice, I guess, of my channel, and they've been starting to reach out to me. And so IFI reached out to me, um, and we had several emails back and forth. They asked if I'd be interested in, in reviewing um, a product. that They'd send it to me free of charge. Um, I would be able to keep it for 60 days, I think, and then ship it back to them and, uh, um, you know, review it. And I, you know, we did the same thing I always do. I said, great. Um, I'm completely honest in my videos. I got to tell you that up front. I will not say things um, to sell your product if I don't like it and I will not uh, promote it. Um, I'll make a video and I'll say it sounds like crap if that's what I think. Uh, and I will not do promotional stuff like Amazon videos uh, and I control all the content. If you're okay with that, then fine. And sure enough, the individual I was working with over there, um, he's like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, totally would love an honest review of our product. Um, so they sent me this device and I already had the Bluetooth one. Um, I done a video on that, the Bluetooth, uh, where is that guy? The, um, I, the IFI blue, I think it's called it's uh, a DAC Bluetooth DAC. Um, really like this product, really like it. It's a keeper. It's in my, it's in my sound system and I'll, I'll be keeping it. It works flawlessly. So let's get to this Zen can and I've already unboxed it. This, and in fact, you know, I'm sure this is a used device. They sent it to me, uh, right? So it comes just like this little box here, nothing in there right now, but what typically is in here is um, this purple RCA cable they give with all of, all of the Zen can or Zen devices, whatever they are. Um, this, this particular line, they all come with a blue, I mean, a purple RCA cable just like this guy right here. Um, also had a power supply, nice. Um, the original IFI Zencan that I'd gotten, I did a video on a few months ago, that didn't come with a power supply. So, uh, um, but this one does. So this is the device. And um, this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have seen this thing already. It's pretty popular, I think. Or at least there's been some videos done on it has the exact same design. Like I said, I really enjoy this design and the feel of it as the, this guy here. And of course, because they're made together, they stack really nicely and look really good together. Um, makes a nice little stack there, nice and compact. So cover some features on this um, on off button, of course. Uh, input, so you can choose. There's three inputs. There is uh, um, a balanced 4.4, um, which they sent me a cable to use with that, and we're going to cover that. Uh, then there's a single-ended input, like if you wanted to do, say, a 3.5 from your device, like maybe from uh, um, something like the Sony M1A, I could do my 3.5 out into this and uh, put these that way, and it's got uh, RCA in as well. This is a balanced output, which I really don't know what you'd use that for. I guess if you wanted to use, if you just wanted to pass the signal through to like as a preamp, I guess that would be for as preamp um, where you just want to, because this thing has some features that'll modify the sound, which I'll cover as well. So I'm guessing this would be like for your preamp option. And of course is your five volt in. Um, it's got some weight to it. I, I don't think it's a full pound, but I think it's pretty close, but it feels pretty weighty in the hand. Um, so that's your inputs uh, and you can select between them on with that button. Gain. Interesting. So it has several levels of, of uh, gain. So um, 0 dB, 6 dB, 12 dB, and 18 dB. Now, uh, sorry, the I hope you guys can't hear my gardeners out there, but um, the the gain is significant, and you got to be careful. I I had I tried I tried this with several things, IEMs, headphones, whatnot, and I had to bump it up to twelve dB for um, some of the headphones I had to sound really good, and I forgot to set that down. And I plugged a pair of 
uh, earphones and I mean, uh, IEMs into this, and it was freaking loud. So be careful with this gain button. It's nice. They've got little white lights. So like if you select on the input one, there'll be a white light there, and whatever your gain setting is, that'll be lit up as well. So you know where you're at, which is a nice thing. I'm glad they do that, and they don't just leave it up to you know your ear sensitivity. Um, the knob has a, you know, it's not clicky. It's very smooth, very easy to turn. It's, it's you know, it, it, it's a nice feel to it. it. It feels almost exactly like the Zen Can that I already reviewed. Um, now, here you have a 4.4, I'm sorry, a 3.5 out. I'm not, it's 3.5? Quarter inch, I'm sorry. Quarter, <laughs> I mean, I'm losing my mind. Um, it's got a quarter inch out, single ended for a headphone, and it's got a balanced 4.4 out for headphones. And then it has this little X base over here. It's got this little gear icon. I don't know, I guess they mean settings, but there's no settings. It's X base or 3D or nothing at all. I like nothing at all. Just, just be upfront about that. I didn't, the X base bumps the base. You know what the X base is like exactly? If old school stereo systems, and I've had a lot of them or through the years, and old school stereo systems have a loudness button on them. Press the loudness button and it just brings everything up a few dB, right? Everything goes up. Typically, bass and mid-range is what goes up the most, but it, it raises those a uh, few decibels up. This does the same thing. That's all. I, I tried out some IEMs that I have that don't have great bass response, and it improved the bass. But it it's not magical. It doesn't like suddenly go, oh, now the bass has this great shelf and there's no bleed into the mid. There's no no. It, it just brings up the frequencies on everything. So um, in the base area, in the base region. So whatever, you know, that would be that frequency range. It works though. And, you know, it sounds okay. It doesn't sound bad. It just, that's really what it does. So I guess what I'm saying is this. If you like a little more bass, great. Run it with the Brit bass. If you've got something that does not, like a set of headphones or IEMs, and they don't have really good bass, don't think this button is magically going to solve that problem because it's not. 3D, I didn't know it's a big difference with that, really. Um, I really just liked it the way it, with nothing. Just plain, clean, no settings here, um, whatever your gain needs to be. It, it sounded really good. Now, what did I try? I tried it with the uh, Fearless Audio S8Zs. I tried it with the Monarchs. I listened to it a lot with those uh, KZ um, EDX, I think, the $12 IEMs that are freaking phenomenal. Um, that sounded really good on this guy right here. Uh, the others sounded pretty good too. Um, the, I, I like them better through my M11 Pro or my 789, but they did sound good on this. This, this has a really, this has kind of a, a nice old school sound to it is, is what I would say. Um, but yet it's very clean, very clean, kind of old school and old school, meaning it feels like there's a little, there's more meat to it, more bass in there. Um, and I, it has a, a mellow kind of sound to it that, I, that I, re, I really enjoyed, actually. Now, the HD800S, the Seinhauser HD800S, did not sound as good on this as it does on my 789. It sounded okay. And if you hadn't heard anything else and you plugged it into this, you'd be like, oh, wow, that sounds really nice. It did sound really good. It just didn't sound as good as the 789. Now, of course, this is $149. And that... 789, I think even on sale is still 300 bucks. So you can't really, it's not comparing apples to apples, I don't think. Um, but the, <laughs> the HD 650s, so I bought a pair of these HD 650s. Um, I'd heard a lot about them and, and I found a closeout sale on them or, or at least a sale on them. I got them for a really good price. And I burned them in for a while on my desktop to let them play for like, I don't know, like a whole day almost. And then I took them upstairs because I was using this, like I said, in my nightstand. I had it plugged into this guy. And I plugged in those 650s. And I want to say that I think the engineer that was designing this right here, this this amplifier, they were doing it with the, they were tuning it or whatever they do when they're designing they were doing it with the hd 650s on or at least in mind because it was suddenly like those hd 650s didn't sound as good on almost anything i listened to them as they did on this i, I can't tell you what it is there was something mellow and beautiful they were clean 
the imaging three-dimensional landscape they created just everything was so good everything was so good you know i i don't know how to explain it. i just was like in heaven for a little bit i was sitting there listening to it and i just i was listening for like two three hours straight my wife comes up she's like what are you doing why are you still listening to this thing and i'm like i'm like you can't believe it. you got to sit down and listen to this so i i played some music she likes she likes latin music and yeah she's like oh wow that that sounds really good she she really enjoyed it too um and what's interesting to me is they have like a signature series, which I haven't heard yet, but it has a button on it that says HD 650 or something, HD 6XX or something. And supposedly they're designed around those Seinhauser HD 600 series. And it's like specifically for that. And I wonder how much different or better that sounds than this, because I, I can't imagine that that sounds any better than this. This with these with the HD 650 X, I'm sorry, X. The HD, Seinhauser HD 650 and this are literally a match made in heaven. They sound so good together. So, so much so that um, I got to send this back. In fact, I need to, I need to get doing this review because I need to get this thing into the box and get it back to them. I'm getting past my time limit. Um, and I really would like to keep it. I think I'm just going to probably buy one um, because it makes such a nice little stack. Like I said, though, I, I like my HD um, 800Ss a lot. So I like to listen to those, too. And I, they definitely didn't sound as good on this as they do, like, on my 789. So it's kind of a, a, a decision point for me. If, but I will say this. If you own the HD 650s by Seinhauser and you already love those things, then you know what? If you're looking for a... a an amp or a DAC amp combo, man, this is it. This sounds so good with those. I, I can't emphasize it enough. Um, such a difference. And, and I tried those 650s and other, they sounded good on a lot of things. They sounded good on the on the 789. They sound good on the ADI 2. They sound good on the Rupert Nev. I mean, I'm not saying they don't sound good on other stuff. They are a nice headphone and they, they sound good on a wide variety of equipment. But I really felt like they designed this amp with those things, kind of their tonality in mind, because it just plays so well together that I, I get to the point where I'm like looking forward to my time to listen to those headphones on this, this little amp. Um, that's really all I can say about it. Um, I'm not going to open it up and cause it's, you know, it's, it's not mine to do that with. I don't really want to take it apart or anything, but to see what's in here, you know, and, and honestly, if I found out there was crappy equipment in here, I would be disappointed. I wouldn't want to do that. I don't want to ruin my image. This thing sounds so good with those headphones. It sounds really good with IEMs too. And it sounds more than acceptable. I, I Like I said, with the HD800S, I didn't really like it that much. Why that is, I just didn't feel it had the same uh, three-dimensional. Like my HD800S is really good at pulling out details and having this great image and soundstage. And I felt like it, it narrowed the soundstage a little when I was listening to it on this. But the HD 650 um, match made in heaven, um, really. That that's what if you're if you got the HD 650s, you should at least listen to it once on this to know what I'm talking about. Um, I think that's all I can really say about it. Again, I didn't buy this with my own money. IFI supplied it to me, and I am sending it back. But I think I am going to be buying one because it's such a nice little combo and so compact. It'll be easy to keep, much smaller than the 789, um, and Maybe I'll just listen to those 650s on it. I don't know. But uh, great little device, and, and I can definitely recommend it. All right. I'll leave a link in the description, and I hope this video helps you in some way uh, make a decision. Okay? Have a great day, guys. Ah, I almost forgot. We were going to talk about the cable. So... So this cable, IFI sent this cable to me. This is the 4.4 cable to interconnect with. So this would be input and this would be output. Yeah, just like that. And there you go. Nice little cable, you know, really well made. This is the box that it comes in. Okay. Um, you can see here sorry this is uh really nicely constructed real nice braid yeah really 
keeps losing focus when I don't do that, huh? Sorry. Um, yeah, really nice quality. Now, I bought another one. I don't have it here with me. I don't know where I put it. But I, there's, so, let me step back. I saw this and I was like, wow, this is a nice cable. And, they, he, and the guy told me in my his email, he says, I'm sending the cable to, in case you want to interconnect it with something else. Um, I said, great, nice. And uh, I got it and I was like, oh, it's a nicely made little cable. It's, it's not too heavy. The ends are, I think, probably hollow in here, but or aluminum is very lightweight. You know, it does what it's supposed to do. It sounds good. Um, it connects these two devices together. Now I went online. I'm like, oh, okay, well, how much is this cable? Because maybe I'll buy one of these. Right? And I'm like, $69.99 on Amazon. It's 70 bucks for this little cable. I have very high quality IEM cables that I didn't pay that much for. I've got lots of uh, this freaking monster XLR, super high quality. I mean, this thing is so well made. And I think it's Amazon Basics or something. I don't know who makes this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Yukamu. Yukamu. What a, what a, who names these companies? Um, this cable, I think, was like $24 or, or $17 or something. This thing's 70 bucks. So, okay. I, I don't want to hammer an iPad. They sent me all this. It was very nice of them to do that. I, I sent a letter, back, an email back to the guy, and I said, wait a minute. I looked at this cable, and it's 70 bucks. I said, I've got another cable I bought off Amazon for, I looked it up, it was $24. Exact same thing, but with, you know, a different braid here and different connectors, but still 4.4 to 4.4. I'm like, it's 24 bucks. I go, I, I go, please explain to me just the justification for $70 for this cable compared to that. I said, I said, as soon as people see that they can get almost the same thing for 24 bucks, I mean, why are they going to pay $70 for your cable? And are they going to feel like you're gouging them and you're going to hurt your reputation? So, I mean, his reply back, which was, you know, totally acceptable, was that IFI makes a very high quality cable. They, they, you know, they put their due diligence in to make sure everything's built correctly in their, you know, their uh, production line. I don't know. Do they, are they make, they're making these in China, I'm guessing. And I don't know if they've got someone standing there watching, making sure and testing that everything's perfect. Or if they're just like all the other cable manufacturers, you know, and they just put them together and throw out the bad ones and keep the good ones. I don't know. He said that people that buy an IFI component tree like to buy their cable and that they sell quite a few of these. You know, they have like their dedicated customers, I guess, that, you know, fans, fanboys, whatever you want to call them. And so, um, and I get it. You know what I mean? It is a nice little cable. It's short and it's it looks to be very well constructed and... Um, works perfectly so you know you may want to spend the money in this i'm just letting you know that there's alternatives that are a lot less expensive that i've tested and do exactly the same thing i cannot hear any difference at all so sorry i ifi i appreciate you sending me this uh, it is a very nice product you know very nice product i just personally don't believe that this is worth 69 or 70 dollars you know that that's just me that's just me you know, maybe there's, you know, I'm not there seeing how it's built and possibly the way that they're doing it is, is more costly and expensive. And it's, it is justified that it's this much money or not. Maybe it costs them three or $4 to make this thing and, and they're just getting as much as they can because they have a big name behind it. Right. Cause IFI makes a lot of great stuff. I, I really love IFI products so far. Um, I, I, no problems with them. They sound excellent. They're very well made. So I, I actually do believe in this company and think that they make some really great products. Um, and I, and I, it's hard for me to sit here and say what's worth what, right? Because that's in the eye of the beholder, so to speak. Um, you know, someone may say I could spend 70 bucks to buy a couple of pairs of IEMs. Why would I buy that? Or somebody might say, you know, I've got a lot of extra money invested in my system and I've got a lot of extra money laying around and 70 bucks is no big deal. Let me just get the best of the best. So they're going to come out and probably buy this. Um, you know, I, I get it. So I just wanted you to know about this. They have this cable. They sent it along. I used it. It works fine. There are cheaper alternatives. But if you are an iFi fanboy, I guess this would be a great cable for you to get to 
to interconnect these devices or any of their devices if that's what you want to do. So I just want to throw it out there. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks again for watching.